Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Modded Super Flat. Hope everybody's doing good. I'm doing fantastic. Guys, today's episode 10. I've got a great episode planned for you. Hashtag question of the day for today is a good one. So, you're allowed to move anywhere in the world, but you have five minutes to decide. You can't take anything with you, and you have to basically start a new life wherever you move. Do you move, and if so, where? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's use hashtag question of the day for that. As always, make sure you turn on the like button. Turn on the like button. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Make sure you turn on notifications for when the videos comes out. Guys, let's get into it. All right, guys. So to get started with today's episode, I want to start working on our big farm. And it's going to be based off of this guy right here. So um, I think what we're probably going to do is we're probably going to either come off the side of this and make the farm back behind it uh, or make a pathway to it. So... Uh, first thing we kind of need to figure out is we need to figure out how many seeds we have. This is going to pretty much tell us how many spots we're going to need. So there's a lot of seeds in here, by the way. Uh, so 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 57. So we should probably account for about 60 spots. Now, um, let's see. So if we do make it to where we have to walk through here to get to the farm, that would probably be best. Uh, actually, let me grab some cobblestone real fast. Uh, I'm thinking what we'll probably do is we'll just kind of mark it out with cobblestone to make sure we know what everything is like, where everything is. There we go. Oh, by the way, guys, apologize for not posting a video yesterday. Honestly, just wasn't feeling it. And I need food, too. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really just, I, I wasn't feeling it yesterday. Like, if I would have posted a video, it would have probably not ended up very well. I know I've got chili. Right, take that. Cool. So... <clears throat> if we're accounting for about 60 spots, then let's see. I definitely, definitely want to keep pathways, right? Um, so how do we want to do this? So we should at least have a three-way wide pathway. And I want to keep these pathways or switch to another one. Uh, up the middle, we're going to keep a pathway, just like so. And then that will allow us to walk towards the crops. And let's see, if we're going to do 60, we have the option of doing, well, we could do six rows of 10. That could work. Uh, I'm stuck in a coma. I kind of wanted to group them and get together a little bit, right? So what if we did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 10 there. We would need five more of those. Hmm. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Three on the side. So we could do uh, four rows of 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3. So something like that right there I think could work. So... Um, <clears throat> now we need to decide sort of how long do we want to make this? I'm thinking probably 10, maybe. And so let's do 10. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, eh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 15 by 16 could make it two gaps of water wide. Although it should probably be 15 by 15. So let's do 15 by 15. One, two, three. And then this will give us sort of our final shape, I think. So put that all the way down towards the end. Oops. Okay. So I think this is going to be how big. It's going to be a pretty big farm, actually. So right there. Then this is the pathway block. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold on. Let me count that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three. So that's going to sort of give us the overview of how big this is going to be. So. 
We'll have four big farms and then a walkway around that and then a fence around that probably. So we got a lot of work to do. First off, I need to clear all this land from all these seeds. Uh, then I need to get a bunch of wood together so that I can um, make a fence around all of it. Okay, guys, so I got uh, a lot of the stuff finished over there. Well, not a lot. I got the like layout finished. Let's go ahead and start working on it some, though. So first off, let's just grab our wood. We have some fences. Where I don't think we're going to need slabs. Grab all that, and then all that, and that, and that. There we go. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. So we have... Um, uh, I actually kind of decided to do it a little bit different, right? So we were going to do four rows of 15. I actually did end up doing four rows of 16. And that's because I forgot to add water in. So these end caps are water. Then it goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, water. Same thing on the other side. So there's actually, um, you know, eight, 16, and then 16 and 16, 32. So there's actually 60, about 64 spots. And that's fine with me. Um, the pathways are all finished besides this one. Need to actually finish that real fast. And so now we just need to work on the fence, get the water in, and just work on the little details of everything. And I'm pretty salty right now. I just ordered lunch because I didn't feel like cooking, and I ordered a slushy. As soon as I got it open, I spilled it. <laughs> about half of it was gone, like, instantly. I'm pretty upset about that right now because I like slushies. Okay, anyways. Um, so that takes care of all that. So now... We need to get the holes dug out for the water. So these go here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There. And there. So that takes care of that. I still need to figure out um, how I want to sort of walk on this. Uh, or not walk on this, but how I want to um, cover up the water. If I do decide to walk on it, of course. Huh. You know, you know what? I wonder if I could vein mine that. Technically speaking, it's only grass. So if I were to, hold on, is my chat a hidden? Why that's a thing. What is ore excavations thingamadoodler? Left shift and V. So V is taken. Okay. Anyway, so just need to dig all those out. Uh, that'll be fine. Uh, then we need to do the fence. So what I'm thinking about doing is running the fence along here, obviously. And I don't know if I want to put... I don't think I'm going to put uh, anything else in there. But I'm, I'm going to do too high, I think. I initially was considering doing too high on the fences. I don't know if that's something that I want to do anymore or not. Hold on. Let's get this all set up. There we go. And then, okay, let's make some fences here. We also need to decide, do we want to put blocks underneath of that? Now, we've already got a ton of wood here. So I'm thinking if we do put blocks underneath of here, it might be best if we put cobblestone underneath of there. Is it unpeaceful? It is unpeaceful. What the hell? I did go into a test world, so that's probably why. Okay. Uh, yeah, cobblestone looks good underneath of there. Uh, the question is, though, do we put a slab over top of that now? I was considering doing cobblestone slabs or wood slabs. Hold on. It might not look all that great with just one slab. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. Yeah, that's not that's not horrible. I might consider that. Okay, and then down here, I am considering changing these to cobblestone slabs, though. There we go. Just to give it a little bit of a different touch to it. But I guess if we were going to do slabs over top of that, we would need to pretty much have them all the same color, though. Yeah. All right. Dumb. Also, is there a sprinkler 
There is a sprinkler, open blocks. I could make the sprinkler. That could be a thing. Let me sleep real fast. So we got a couple decisions we need to make. I don't think it's gonna be too much of a big deal, to be honest. Okay, so, um, the reason why I was considering putting slabs over top of that, though, was because I want to make sure mobs don't get in here. But if I guess as long as I'm not over here during nighttime, it would be fine. Yeah, I think we'll keep it like that. So we've got a pretty solid idea for what we want to do here. We just need to dig all the water holes, fill the water in, and then start deciding where we want the seeds to go. So, all right, so I got a couple things I need to take care of and I'll be back. So, I got everything settled. Now, the question is, you know what? I think a scythe. I don't know a scythe. I think that's what it's called. There, this right here. I think this hose three by three I, uh, I area, doesn't it? I wanna make that. But the thing is, is that I don't know where my forge is at. So I guess I'll just have to make a hoe. I uh, really didn't want to have to do it like that, but whatever. So, I was thinking about how I wanted to grow all this, and I was thinking that we should probably take some time and try to figure this out. So, things like like wheat, for example, car carrots, and things like that should also be in there. We have a couple extra spots, so I think we should be okay. So, we'll grab some seeds. Uh, I guess I, I would... Okay, that's annoying. Drive through an apartment building with your music blasting. Uh, do I have any of those in here? I thought I had carrots and stuff. There's carrots. I don't see potatoes, though. All right, so we might have to get potatoes later, but... I am thinking about organizing these, but... Um, man, I really wanted to be able to just uh, hoe, like, three by three. That would have been so much faster. Um, <clears throat> another thing that I think we might get is a thing called actually add-ons worms. Uh, since we're about to hoe a whole mess of ground, I think we should be able to pick them up. Let's see how, if we do actually get any of those. I just want to do this area real fast. Those should drop. I don't know if they're a rare drop or what. I don't think so. Because I know I have actually add-ons in the pack. Huh, maybe not. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty weird. I really, I really legit thought I was gonna get some. There we go. So, I think the game plan here is gonna be to, let's start with wheat. So we'll do wheat, and then oats is something that's very similar to wheat. And then rye is also very similar. I was, see, I was thinking about doing this the entire time. But uh, <laughs> that is going to be a lot of work, right? Like, I really wanted to do, like, I wanted to organize it in a certain fashion, right? But I don't know, that's kind of a lot of work. So anyways, those worms... So, oh, maybe they're not actually in the pack. Maybe, I bet you I know what that, that's from. I actually think that might be from mystical, not mystical agriculture, but uh, uh, agri-craft, I think is what it's called. I think that's what it's from. I thought those worms were in the pack, but I guess not. Uh, those worms would be literally perfect for this place, though. I might actually consider adding that mod in if it's not already. I really thought that I had it in the pack already. Because AgriCraft is like really a perfect mod for this pack. So, grab all that. So, anyways, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get all these planted. Um, let, me, let me take some stuff off my bar here. So, I want to plant all of these. And then I actually want to do a little bit of exploring because we haven't done that since we started. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the rest of these planted, <clears throat> and then I want to do a little bit of roguelike dungeon exploring. So be... All right, guys, I'm a little bit further away uh, to roguelike, and there's animals here. Typically, animals only spawn in loaded chunks, and since we're far away from spawn, I think it's this nature's core thing. Uh, I'm going to steal this. Can I pick it up? 
Uh, let's try an axe. Not harvestable. Anyways, I think that thing spawns animals because how else would they have spawned? That's weird, dude. Huh. Anyways, let's get inside here. I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with this. I haven't yet explored one of these in this map. We're gonna try to get down as far as we can. Not really looking for anything in particular. It'd actually kind of be cool to maybe locate some spawners, which is what we can do in this. And there's a door here. Fireworks! Not fireworks? One firework? Weird. Uh, thought there was fireworks. We might be down further. I don't know. There's definitely fireworks somewhere. Turn that off. Uh, so what mobs? Skeletons, huh? Let's kill this guy. So this guy's got all kinds of armor on. Take all that. Okay, let me put some of this stuff up real fast. Keep the food. Keep my torches. Uh, I'll take the cooked fish. And that potion's pretty good. Okay. So, we found one spawner. Let's keep looking. Um... Doing a little bit of scouting for when I do decide to make like a bigger spawner eventually. I like these places, these are fun to explore. We are not seeing a spawner down here. Uh, I remember in Mad Pack, this was like the room to be, man. Projectile protection. Nope, I just want all the food for now. Take all that. And then there was another door we passed. Oh, this is like the little hideout. Uh, I have iron on. I have protection. So let's switch these out to that. New pants. Good deal. Efficiency. Don't know what that does. Don't know what that does. And cool. Alright, let's take that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I really thought uh, this was going to be harder. <laughs> There's like nothing here right now. Alright, let's go back. There's got to be a way down. Oh, we didn't go in this room. I feel like there was a spawner in this room before. Nothing. It's a cool design though. Huh, weird. I don't know. Alright, let's go back to the cage. Me and some fishy fishies. Nom, 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 nom. There we go. Alright, so, see if there's anything in this one. Kind of disappointed in this first level so far. Is, uh, are those considered zombies? Well, that's hard to hit. I don't know what that would be considered. Nope, don't eat that. Eat the good stuff. Pretty sure that's a spider zombie spawner. Power, smite, efficiency, fish. Okay. Eventually I will come back and grab all this loot, by the way. I know it's probably going to bug you. Brother! Okay. So we found the steps. And some little carrots and potatoes. What's this? This is like a smelting room. Take the coal. Oh, that's not a bad sword. Protection. Torches. Definitely take the anvil. And then anything in these? Just a lot of take the hoppers. No, we're not doing too bad. Grab that. Grab that. Cool. Well, we're getting some loot. Let's go down a level. I'd imagine it would start getting harder. Two mobs there. Hole in the ground. Let's try this side first. There's a hole. There's a hole in the ground there. Oh, that's the stairway down. Mm. 
with that guy with the sword. Where are those zombies? Spiders? Or the, where are the, the uh, skeletons coming from? I think there's like a spawner in the wall over here somewhere. Aha! Okay, so we've like... We've already seen like five spawners. Dude, if we can find a way to pick spawners up, we are Gucci. <laughs> Good lord. Let's see. Hold on, let me put all this stuff away. I'm just gonna grab what I need. You, 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 you. Oh, you spawned. And I got a loot bag that time. Grab my torches and the coal. Might come back for the rest of that. Okay. So a pretty cool music room here. Pretty sure there's loot in this one too. Uh, okay. This has got food in it. Crappy enchants. All right. Plenty of spawners. Oh. Did he have diamond armor on? I thought he had a diamond enchanted helmet. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's try to finish up this level here. So. Lots of goodies everywhere, though. I like the I like the scheme of this build. It's probably my favorite two blocks in the game. I don't need some food. All right. That's a trap. I feel like there's something behind here. Maybe not. What's in here? Silk Touch, that's a good one. Definitely take Silk Touch. Mm-hmm. What's that? Another skeleton spawner. So that's probably, what, seven or eight spawners we've seen so far? Guys, I think that's... It's all three sides, isn't it? Oh, no. I think there's one more side. Gotta love when they're spider spawners. It's easy. Um, stone brick, that's a weird one. I've never seen that in there. Okay, well, if I'm not mistaken, if we go back, oh, there's still one more side, okay. How did he just take damage? He legit just took damage. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Cool shield, take that. Uh. Oh, this is a cool looking room. Wow. That's a really cool room. That's got a bunch of potions and a potion stand in it. Potions of healing or regeneration. Dude. Take all those. All right. Well, that is two floors cleared. We'll have to come back another time. There's Wharton there, too. Wow, man, that's a good room. Anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. This is iJevin. Peace out.